Hi guys, I'm going to share with you some points of view of this knife. It's called the Baron by Spyderco. Uh, let's get to the specs first. It has an overall length of 8 and 7 8 with blade, blade length of almost 4 inches. The blade steel is VG10 and has a cutting edge of 3 inches. The blade thickness is 1 8 and use G10 as handle material and it weighs 4.2 ounces. This knife is designed by Ed Shem. The design actually comes from the Southern Philippines cultural knife. It is used for daily, daily chores and to its extreme in the battlefield. Although my main intention for, for this knife is self-defense, it can actually do much more, such as uh, foot prep or be used as camping knife. Let's talk about the design. The G10 scale is very well made. It has enough traction, but won't tear your pants. The color is easy to the eyes. I would say it's a classic color. Classic color. It's called the uh, foliage green, I think. You can have the, the clip for the left and right hand carry. I only tip up. I like tip up carry because most most of the time I carry it in my pocket, back pocket. And uh, with tip up carry, I get much faster deployment. Uh, the clip is easy to slide in and easy to slide out. Cannot complain about it. It has a gold yellowish spider coat logo on it. I don't know if you can see it. The knife is a. Uh, flow-through design with uh, five stands off, including the pivot. It has steel liners and G10 scales. It is rather thin, which I like also, because the uh, defensive knife has to be long, but with the length comes with the heft, and heft is not good for everyday carry. At 4.2 ounces, I can have it in my pocket all day and don't even, and don't even notice it. Um, let's compare with the, another tactical knife, the ZT302. You can see how much thinner it is or not. The deployment, this is a very very smooth knife. It's, it has enough detent, but feels like it's not there. I have a three deployment method for this knife, depending if it's in my back pocket or front pocket. Thumb open, opening, when it's in my front pocket. It's very fast and smooth. Middle finger opening when it's in my back, back pocket. It's also very fast. And swing opening when it's in my back. Good detail. With a swing, you can open really fast. Um, the blade has a leaf shape. It's very smooth and good looking. The curve is just so good to look at. It has no jimping, but I like it that way. Having some jimping is like putting scar on a beautiful face. Besides, when, when, you, have, when you want to stab, you should always grab the knife closing all your fingers. Not like this. The spidey hole is big enough for my fingers. It has a small spider logo on it. An Ed Sham logo in the back. Um, I think it's laser etched. 
not just printed and it says uh, Japan right here I don't know if you can see it and spider code VG10 the blade is extremely sharp I don't even know how to show you it's just one of those knives that cuts you without putting any pressure the blade is 4 inches long but actual cutting edge is only 3 some people might, might not like it but I do because you don't really need 4 inches for whatever you're gonna do with this knife and that unsh uh, unsharpened portion Welcome can serve as finger trail yeah, well sorry about that uh, it's my uh, new clock it's voice control okay um, as I was saying the unsharpened portion can, can serve as a fin finger trail and it also serves as a secondary safety system so when the liner lock fails by any reason you don't chop your finger off the, line, the liner lock is well designed also someone may say um, the handle is not cut out enough but I like the line, liner hidden inside again for safety purpose I mean this is after all a fighting knife the handle feels like a extension of your hand well at least my hand if you're a basketball player it might not be comfy for you but it just locked my four fingers and there's no way to pull it out or push it in and you can strike with the bottom portion it's kind of pointy and you will hurt a lot in the skull let's say and it also has a lanyard hole if you want to put a lanyard in it the liner is not cut out I don't know if you can see but since it's not heavy it's okay with me Alright, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them as that. I think this knife is being discontinued, so go get it while you can. It's underappreciated and it's a very good user knife. Right. Thank you and bye bye.